So the i7-6700K, 4 cores, 8 threads, base frequency of 4 GHz, turbo frequency of 4.2 GHz, 8 MB smart cache, which is a why a lot of people love this processor, a 90 watt power consumption, which is not too bad considering the power of this chip. Max memory size at 64 gigabytes, that's sort of the main thing that you see on 1151 socket compatible motherboards, none of them are over that because of this chip and its compatibility and obviously all the ones in the series with it. Now its compatibilities is one thing, but to prevent bottlenecking I highly highly recommend using DDR4 RAM, DDR3 will just totally bottleneck it and you won't get the full power out of this chip. Now the hyper threading in this chip makes recording and streaming games like seamless. Honestly a must for most YouTubers and Twitch streamers. My name is Matthew or Little Merman and today we're going to be unboxing this chip and mounting it to the motherboard. I'm going to have a couple of videos. They should be in the links uh, in the description below but if they aren't chances are they're not out yet just give me a nudge in the comment section and I will get working on that but they should be they should be there anyway. So you don't miss them subscribe and if this really helps you out hit the like button honestly make my fucking day. Let's get into it. Okay so jumping right on into the unboxing there's not really much in the box I just thought I'd show you guys what is um, and I'm using the wrong side of the blade. <laughs> there we go. Right so opening this right on up we have nothing in the box as I said. Um, a bit of a sticker which I'll probably peel off in a second and then sort of the user manual and all that it's actually locked with this little plastic thing um, I will probably not read that and I know a lot of you guys won't either um, and then pretty much there's the chip it's locked into cardboard not really much as I said in the box let's get right on into mounting this to the motherboard and then playing around with the Hyper Evo um, and hooking all that up as well okay so basically opening this right on up um, obviously the 6700K, literally not much to it, I just removed the safety cap as well by the way, um, there's not really much to that, you just peel it right up. Okay so pulling this right on up then, flick that up when you're doing it, a lot of people get sort of nervous. Basically this drops in, there is an arrow right here, normally matches up with an arrow on the motherboard. Mine is basically like you can see right here, there's like an arrow like sort of into the motherboard. Um, so pretty much that's the way it's going, so it's going like this. And as people say, it literally drops right in. You don't need to press it in or anything like that. Um, not much to it then. You just pretty much just lock it back again and under. And then that is pretty much it. As always, motherboard into the case. And do not forget your thermal paste. I did mine off camera on my last processor. And my comment section literally went absolutely crazy. Now fan wise, I went with the Hyper TX3, not the Hyper Evo. Was not easy, I'm not going to lie. It was not easy to actually mount. I found the fan was easier to mount into my AMD build. But coming to Intel, it was a bit more complicated. Even though it's supposed to be nice and simple. It's supposed to be just like nice four things. You press them in and that's it. Was quite harder than that, not going to lie. But with about half an hour of struggle, I managed to get this built. In case you're wondering, I was upgrading from an FX6300 and I think an MSI 970A G46 of a motherboard. I had 16 gigs RAM in that and they were DDR3. I upgraded to um, this motherboard, the Z170 Gaming Edition by Gigabyte. Obviously the 6700K and 32 gigs RAM of a black Corsair Vengeance RAM DDR4 clocked in at 2400 megahertz I believe. Pretty sweet upgrade, 16 gigs I'd say would be decent enough, I just had to go overkill and go 32 gig, I think I got a deal on the whole three of them all together. Honestly, pretty sweet build, this is a, an amazing processor, not even gonna lie, the kick that I got when I started using this with my RX 480 because I was actually getting bottlenecked with the CPU that I previously had. Honestly, the CPU is absolutely crazy. I can stream pretty much any games, 1080p, 60 Ultra, with the right settings in OBS. Honestly, I'm so, so happy with it. Definitely an amazing processor for YouTubers and for streamers, if that's what you're going for it. If not, if you wanna just go overkill with PC gaming, this is definitely the chip for you. And um, once again, if this did help you out, do smash that like button, drop a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new um, and any suggestions or stories about this processor or anything like that that you found makes the performance better. Do drop it all down in the comment section below. We get a bit of a discussion going. Without further ado, I'm going to leave the video here. Subscribe once again for more computer videos. And without further ado, I'm going to leave it here once again. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in another video or live stream very, very soon.